morning, Wi-Fi land all over the world. Today, we greet you in the name of the only Savior of sinners, the Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory both now forevermore. Amen. Well, if you've been listening to Wi-Fi land for any length of time, you probably picked up on the fact that I'm a pretty funny guy. But not everyone thinks I'm funny, and that would include the lady that I'm closest to. For anonymity's sake, let's call her Carol. So because Carol doesn't always appreciate my humor, I keep it to myself when I'm around the house. And that means I'm often privately telling myself jokes that Carol might not think are funny. And that tends to keep me in very good spirits because I'm like my own self-entertainment system. So I came into the room where Carol was yesterday, and she was laughing pretty hard And uh, while looking at her iPad. Well, of course, I knew she wasn't laughing at something I said, so I asked her what was so funny, and this is what she said. A man's wife was kind of down in the dumps and discouraged, and he wanted to try and help. So her husband put on his counseling cap, and he suggested that maybe it would help her if she embraced her greatest regret. She paused, then turned and hugged him. Yeah, I didn't think it was very funny either, but Carol thought it was a crack up. I was offended. So let's talk about personal offense. Personal offense has always been a tremendous problem amongst men and women, even Christian men. Consider Paul and Barnabas in Acts 15. They were best friends, but angrily split up. Or the two sisters in Philippians 4 who were arguing. Personal offense divides families, friends, churches, even nations. Proverbs 18, 19. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and their contentions are like the bars of a castle. It's been said that a humble man takes no offense, and that a meek man gives no offense. A humble man takes no offense, a meek man gives no offense. Proverbs 26, 20. Where no wood is, the fire goeth out. So the humble man lets the fire burn, he takes no offense. And the meek man does not start a fire nor add wood to it. He gives no offense. We can see the humble man taking no offense in 1 Samuel 17. David came to the Philistine battlefield to bring refreshments from his father to his seven brothers. When David heard Goliath loudly threatening the army of Israel, he was noticeably upset. But David's oldest brother Eliab chastised David and accused him of leaving his father's sheep so that he could come and see the battle. Now, at this point, David could have taken his eyes totally off the issue at hand, the Philistines, and become personally offended and gotten into an inconsequential beef with his brother. But in humility, David refused to take offense. He let the petty fire of Eliab's anger burn and turned from him to face the real enemy, Goliath. And then there is the meek man who gives no offense. In Judges 8, Gideon had just won a great victory over the Midianites. But the tribe of Ephraim was very angry with Gideon that he had not included them to fight together with Israel against the Midianites. Now, actually, David had sent messengers to Ephraim calling them to join the battle. But for whatever reason, the men of Ephraim didn't get the memo. So Gideon could have become personally offended and argued with the already angry Ephraimites, but in meekness, he chose not to put in any wood on the fire. Instead, Gideon commended the men of Ephraim on their readiness to fight and skill in battle. And when Gideon had finished speaking, the Bible says Ephraim's anger was abated. There was no wood and the fire went out. So we are instructed in humility not to take offense as David, and in meekness not to give offense like Gideon. And if we are ever personally offended, we are to remember not to let the sun go down on our wrath. Ephesians 4, 26. Deal with personal offense today before your head hits the pillow. And also remember Paul's exhortation in Romans 12, 18. If it be possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. And you will never live peaceably with anyone without living peaceably with the Lord Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Trust Him today if you never have. In His worthy name, Amen.